How's it going guys? It's Oscar back again with another video and um, today we're going to be going over my casino chip collection. So um, I am just started collecting about two months ago and I'm pretty much collecting uh, like odd denomination chips, uh, more chips that usually people wouldn't buy and the normal one dollar chips. So starting off here we have the um, Stardust closing chip as they would call it, uh, $1 chip, one of the last ones that they used in the casino. Then we have a Stratosphere 250 chip. And the next three chips after, the, well, the next two chips after this one, you're going to see our Stratosphere chips. The one reason um, I'm getting Stratosphere chips is because it's one of the casinos I've been to a bunch of times, and the view up there is just crazy. So here's a $4 uh, chip. You don't really see these often. And then the five. I really like the five because it's super pink and pops a lot. All right, next three chips are going to be Caesars chips. Uh, this one is the current Caesars chip, so the ones that they're using on the tables. Small inlay. This one is the obsolete Caesars chip that they just stopped using a couple years ago. Uh, as you can tell, it's got the larger inlay, whereas the last one had the smaller inlay. Here is a Caesars 10, the only Caesars 10 chip that they've made really like the color on this one too and here's a moulin rouge 5 can can girl picked up the moulin rouge because it's super rare and you don't see them too often so how you feel how you feel how you feel all right here's a wildfire one picked up this one again got a cool inlay and it's really mint looking and here's a Palazzo $1. Funny thing about this one, I uh, found it in my house and my parents don't know where the heck they got it from. So I guess it just adds to my collection. Uh, here's a Harrah's, Harrah's Lake Tahoe chip from the Altitude Nightclub. And here's a current Fiesta. Also picked up this one because the colors on it are really nice and it's in really good condition. All right, Dunes 5. This one is uncirculated, so it never got used on the table. I'm um, starting to get really hard to find these, as well as the Dunes 25 right here that's uncirculated as well. Never got used, it's not warped and in perfect condition. Um, here's an Aladdin 5. Picked up this one again because it's in mint condition. Uh, the other ones I've seen of this one are kind of in used condition, so... Then here's a Space Quest Roulette Orange Chip. Um, picked up this one because the, the orange really popped out and I said why not start, a, start collecting the roulette stuff too. Alrighty, this first one, um, I actually got it for free. Um, the one reason I like it, it's got Finland on it and it's got a dog on it. Uh, here's a Nevada Landing 50 Center, again, in mint condition. And here's a Horseshoe Club 25 Center, mint condition. Kind of like it, because it's kind of plain. Uh, here's a Pioneer Club, again, in mint condition. All these fractionals are pretty plain, but I, I think that they're cool because they're in all mint condition. Alrighty, these next four chips got a funny story behind them. So I actually saw them on eBay for a really good price, and I said, you know what? 
why not pick them up? Next thing you know, I get them and they're all in mint condition. Like these things are like brand new. The Sands $1 chip from, I believe it was 1989. So one of the last few chips that they used at the Sands before they closed. Alright, here we got a Claim Stake 5 in mint condition. Again, pretty plain but unique chip. Um, here's an Aladdin $4 chip before Planet Hollywood opened. So, um, Aladdin used to be Planet Hollywood, or Planet Hollywood used to be Aladdin, so they did promotional chips before they closed Aladdin into Planet Hollywood. Here's a Harrah's $4 chip. Again, kind of one of those chips that you're never really going to see too often. Kind of like this one because it's got a nice pinkish uh, kind of peach. And then here's a Binion's 4. Again, kind of unique colors on this one too. Alright, Luxor 250 chip right here. Really, really pink with some purple and green on it and the inlay looks sick. Here's a Four Queens $8 chip. Kind of got a gold scheme to it. Really clean and nice. Here's a Bellagio one. I actually bought one Bellagio one and then my buddy Chris had this one so we swapped so big thanks to him. And then here's a Vegas World. Um, it's it's a really kind of weird chip. It's a $25 match play or you get six bucks and a quarter. So it's technically a six and a quarter dollar chip. And I got that from my good friend Tom. All right, these next three chips are uh, DI $1 chips, all in mint condition. I was trying to show there's a hat and cane in the, the middle, but I guess the camera didn't pick it up. But like these, these are super clean and they got a nice little color scheme to them too. And then here's a Tropicana 1 as well. House mold, super clean and mint condition. These next four chips are kind of random. Um, three chip coat chips and one kind of London chip. So these first three are chip collector kind of advertisement chips from Fiesta and Chipco. And then here's a denomination 10 from the Ciro Casino. If I remember right, it was from the UK. Don't quote me on it though. Mint condition on this one too. All right, and the last five. So starting off, we're gonna have two um, Hooters kind of calendar girl chips. So this first one is March. And then the next one is January. So pick these up because the Hooters just closed, turned into the Oyo Casino. Um, here's a Binion's $2. I wasn't going to pick this one up, but I said, you know what, screw it and just get it. Probably don't see them too often. Uh, here's the new current Sahara, the brand new Sahara that just opened. This is their current $1 chip. And here's a Mirage $3 chip. Pick this one up because it's black. You're not going to see $3 black chips usually because they're mostly going to be $100 black chips. And here's an Aria 3. Pick this one up because the green is super bright on it. And I don't think I've ever been to the Aria, but definitely want to go check it out. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And um, leave a like and a comment down below. What, you, what do you guys think about my chip collection so far? Um, it's only been for about two months since I started, so, uh, let, yeah, let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.